in this video i am going to explain about what are the reinforcement we used in the footing okay friends the first reinforcement we are generally provided in the footing is and uh, we call it mesh okay right so uh, in footing uh, we are providing the reinforcement in x by x direction in y directions and uh, that reinforcement uh, which we generally call is mesh okay so first reinforcement we have is plain mesh so let us know about what is the plain mesh uh, suppose this is the our size of the footing this is the size of the footing and you provide the reinforcement bar in this direction and in this direction so we call it plain mesh okay so from this portion this is uh, this is the outer part okay so this is the nothing but it is the clear cover minimum clear cover we provide in mesh is 40 mm minimum clear cover okay so this is the one type of mesh another type of mesh we have is mesh with hook so what type of it is this is suppose this is same like this but one change is there this is the x direction bar and hook is provided in this way similarly in y direction and hook is provided in this way this is a mesh with hook and it is generally provided in the low rise building and high rise building we call it anchorage anchorage or hook so this mesh a uh, plain mesh is generally provided in the isolated footing combined footing and see guys this spacing may be different or may be equal in both the direction okay and this mesh uh, we, how we select the types of mesh we select the type of mesh depend on it depend upon the it depend upon the loading how much load is acting uh, how much load on the uh, mesh and the foundation receives according to that these types of mesh will be decided and it will be done by the structural engineer okay the third we have mesh up to depth of footing So if you see the cross section cross section of so this is like look, look like this mesh up to depth this is the depth of footing this is the depth of footing and this is the main bar and another bar is also pro provided in y directions and this bar will be in x direction and we call it here spacing is provided ok friends so this is the mesh up to depth of footing fourth we have wrapped mesh this mesh was generally provided in the uh, where the soil bearing capacity is very low soil bearing capacity is very low and one thing I forgot to tell you friends mesh up to depth footing provide an isolated footing step footing ok a wrapped mesh we provided in generally where the soil bearing capacity is very low it is used 
where soil bearing capacity capacity is very low and this mesh is provided in a in a two directions generally two mesh is provided one is bottom mesh bottom mesh and top mesh see friends i will show you the sectional drawing of wrapped mesh this is one direction okay so 90 degree bend this will be tied with binding wire and one this is the x direction bar and another y direction bar also provided this way and one thing i want to tell you see one this is chair should be provided so that uh, the upper upper mesh will be hold it helps to hold the upper mesh and here anchor is 90, 90 degree hook is provided this is the y direction bar we also call distribution bar distribution bar and here bending wire will will be guys if you generally like this video today's video then please subscribe my channel construction site expert and subscribe it